uh, platformer. And these are the communities uh, uh, I'm working with. Or you can uh, ping me on the social media. Okay, uh, let's see what is Git. Uh, Git is a distributed version controlling system for tracking changes in source code during software development. Uh, it is designed for coordinating work among programmers, but it can be used to track changes in any set of files. Uh, that can be any uh, any code, any file extension. So now you might think why why we need version control. Uh, version control is a system uh, that records changes to a file or set of files over time so that you can recall the specific version later. Uh, as a developer, uh, uh, a version control system is a very wise thing to use uh, and it allows you to revert selected files back to a previous state and revert the entire project back to a previous state compare changes over time and see who last modified uh, something that might be causing a problem or error. Uh, and also who introduced an issue and when and more. And also as a backup. And uh, most importantly, uh, team collaboration. So now I'm going to tell you about uh, Git Basic. So you need to know about uh, what are the repositories, uh, what is staging, and uh, what are the commits. So, uh, uh, so what is a Git repository? A Git repository is a virtual bridge of your project. It allows you to save version of your code, which you can access when needed. So, uh, it's it's like a uh, the software project, but especially it's a container uh, directory called dot git uh, that folder contain all uh, required git history and all git related data. So you can uh, initialize a git repository using this command git init. Uh, let me show you with the example. So when you are working with Git, uh, you need to install Git CLI. Uh, you can download Git CLI from here, according to your uh, OS file. And uh, I have created the uh, folder, it's an empty folder. So let me open my terminal. It's a empty. Uh, it, now we are going to uh, initialize this as a uh, Git Before that, uh, let me add a, a text file for for this uh, this folder. Now you can see uh, I have added that I have created a text file. So now I'm going to initialize this as a Git repository. So now this project is a uh, Git repository. Let's go back to the slides. So in Git, uh, there is a thing called commits. With commits command, uh, so make a commit, we need to uh, use git, com uh, git commit command. Git commit command is the main function for saving changes to uh, local repository safely. Uh, actually, commits take a snapshot of the project and treat it as a version. So create a commit, first you need to stage your changes by executing git add and uh, file names 
or you can simply be that dot for uh, all five and to save that commit to permanently save it uh, you need to run git commit as in and the commit message now let's do it in our repository Click add to So this is my first commit. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put uh, initial commit. Okay. Now we have created our first commit. Okay. Uh, Beat commit. Actually, it's uh, link with uh, a previous commit. It, it's like a link list. So you can run it look for view all commits. And this is how it works. You can state your changes by uh, executing it at command, and then you can save it executing the commit and uh, providing it message. And if you want to uh, reset your commit, you can use the reset and the uh, commit ID. So, so far we covered uh, the thing uh, that turn any folder into a super small git folder and the add and also the commit, the reset, this command. So, what is GitHub? Actually, Git and GitHub is a separate thing. Entirely separate. And GitHub is a, a Git repository hosting service, but it has many of its own features. While Git is a command line tool, GitHub provides a web based repository hosting service. So, GitHub is not uh, just a repository hosting website at all, it has other capabilities as as well, such as with uh, actions that allow you to uh, continuous integration, continuous deploy using a configuration file, and also that allow you to build, test, and deploy your code right from GitHub and GitHub pages. Uh, it allows you to uh, host your website for free, and you can uh, save your project. The secret in GitHub secret world. Oh, uh, in Git, uh, the, in Git, our uh, our container container uh, repository that we that we can uh, call it as a uh, local repository, and in and in GitHub we need to create a, another uh, repository that called remote repository. Uh, now let's do it. To do this, you need to have a GitHub account. Go to your GitHub account and click on this plus icon and click on our new repository button. I'm going to name this as a Bitcoin. You can choose this a uh, public or private. And to complete repository. Now we have a remote repository, and in our computer we have local repository. So now we need to link this to. So in order to do this, uh, copy this URL. You can copy it from here. And you can, uh, you need to run this command to uh, introduce your remote repository to your local repository. 
now let's do it. Click three more add origin uh, paste that URL. Okay, now it's done. So now uh, all our changes in our local repository, but uh, remote repository don't know about our uh, repository changes. So we need to uh, provide provide our code into uh, remote repository. So to do that, we need to use git push and pull. So now we have commits in our local repository, as I told earlier, but that's not enough. Uh, we need to put our code into GitHub. Now let's see how we can do it. So to do that, we can use git pull, and we need to specify our remote and the branch. And when, our, when we are uh, getting changes from remote repository to local repository, we need to use git push and remote and the branch. Wait. Push. There's your origin. Master. Now let's go back to uh, our remote repository in GitHub. Let's refresh this page. Here you can see that uh, readme file here. So you can even uh, edit this file from GitHub. I'm gonna type hello git and I'm coming to change. Or it get a readme file. So another thing is uh, when you don't have direct access to the repository or you want to contribute to an open source repository, you can fork it. Uh, forks allow you to do changes without affecting the original repo. So let's me uh, let's say. Let's pick a random repository for me. I say I want to uh, do a changes in this repository, but I don't have access to it. So first of all, I need to fork it from here. Uh, then I need to clone it using git clone and the uh, repo URL. So the clone commands uh, download an existing git repository. 
to our local computer then we need to make a pull request you can copy a uh, url from here And now you need to uh, move to the repository using change directory and the directory name. Okay. Now you can open it using a uh, VS Code. So as a change, uh, I'm going to at a new line here. And edit. Then I uh, so you need to commit it. Then push. So now we have uh, in, uh, new changes in our uh, uh, repository. So now we need to uh, we done our changes. So now we need to uh, publish it as a uh, pull request. So just allow a repository owner to review and uh, see our changes. If our changes is okay, uh, he can merge it. Go to pull request and click on new pull request. You need to uh, select. From my form repository to the uh, owner's repository and click on create pull request button. Uh, this is how we create a uh, pull request to an open source repository. And now let's talk about uh, git branching and context switching and merging. Uh, as you seen in this image, it has linear history, uh, but a branch represents an independent uh, line of your uh, development work workflow. But you can think of them as a way to request a brand new uh, working directive and or, and or a stage in area and project uh, history. So create a uh, git branch. You can use git branch and uh, branch name. So let's create a git branch in our first repository that I have uh, created in first.
branch. Uh, I'm going to name my branch as a test. And now I'm going to add a, a new file. Uh, index.html now i'm going to uh, commit it Sorry, I forgot to uh, change the branch. Sorry for that. So, once you take, uh, you need to switch it. So, to do that, you can use git checkout and the branch name, or you can use git switch command. Now, let's use it. In here, uh, I'm going to add. I'm going to create a new branch, a uh, new file. Now I'm going to save the commit. When you are pushing a nuclear branch, you cannot push like this. Uh, you have to set the upstream. Uh, So that uh, you need to run git push. You need to provide this data frame flag. And the origin and the specify the branch. Now you can see in master you uh, you only see readme and html but in this branch you can see readme text and the uh, index to html file both so uh, when you are merging your uh, branch into another uh, there is two. Uh, first one is you can merge it from Git or you can merge it from GitHub. Uh, in this session, I'm going to uh, use GitHub way. So that is GitHub. And to uh, merge it, you need to create a uh, pull request button. So go to pull request and click on new pull request. And here you need to select this branch and in, a, in this arrow indicate uh, which branch going to merge to uh, which branch.
So I am owner, owner of this repository, so I can merge it. Uh, otherwise, uh, repo owner can uh, merge this PR, this uh, pull request. In here, uh, now you can see in masters, uh, there are uh, in here uh, index HTML file and also index to HTML file as well because we merge uh, this branch into master, that's why. So, usually uh, we use branch for adding features to our project or fixing bug. Uh, so far, we covered Git branch and Git checkout and Git merging. Okay, uh, this is a very important thing. Uh, GitHub allows you to uh, get free freebies, right? Actually, 200k uh, worthy. You can go to uh, education.github.com slash back uh, in here. Uh, all these uh, services and products are free for you. All you have to do is uh, enter your university email and get this back. They provide uh, Azure, Azure credits as well. Azure credits and this CP credit and Bootstrap Studio for free, JetBrains uh, license, this is your option. Uh, now let's talk about workflow management. So that's me. Uh, in when when we create a repository, we can uh, create a file called readme.md. Uh, actually, readme is the first file uh, one should read when starting a new repository, a new new project. It's a set of useful information about a project and uh, and a kind of user manual. Uh, in readme we can include uh what is this repository for and our contribution guidelines and technical requirements for particular repository and naming convention for branches and hacking process uh for full cases and these all all these things and also code of conduct and license i will show you an example of good readme Uh, this is one of my read me. Uh, it's a Java project. In here, I have added uh, description and my project interfaces and how uh, other contributors how they can get started and the uh, you uh, design patterns. So the design patterns I have you and the deployment and the uh, libraries I have used to contribute and version. And also uh, GitHub, there is uh, another good thing called uh, GitHub issues. Uh, GitHub issues used to track ideas, or enhancement or tasks or bugs for the work on our repository. Uh, you can collect user feedback uh, or report or bugs. 
let me show you uh, how we can uh, create issue in our repository. In our repository, there is a tab called issues. And click on new issue. I'm going to make uh, this issue as a complete and here I can assign someone currently in this project uh, so I'm going to say so once, once this is finished uh, I can close this issue from here So if you want to learn about uh, GitHub and Git, learn by GUI. Uh, so go to this URL and try GitHub with GitHub bot. It will help you to try out a lot of things. And that's all folks. Uh, if you have any question please ask or you can ping me on uh, the social media Image, do you have any question? Or... Yeah, uh, let's give that chance to our attendees. Uh, guys, if you have any question, you can ask now from Chamot and get them solved. Ah, I saw a question in the chat. Why we use uh, dash to in git post? Uh, when we are pushing uh, something to git, we need to specify the branch. That means git push dash u means under. Uh, origin master that's why we put a uh, dash u flag so that's uh, only need to be uh, two ones not every time i have a, i have a question for you uh, can you hear me uh, yeah yeah i can hear you uh, what are the difference between uh, need desktop and need command? Are there any major differences ah. between them? Uh, it's like uh, git, 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 git and git bash is a CLI tool that yes. means uh, to use to, to, to do uh, git stuff you need to uh, execute commands but uh, github desktop is a uh, graphical user interface so you can uh, do all these things with uh, without running any command. Uh, you can do all this stuff uh, by clicking on some a few buttons. That's very easy. But uh, as a developer, I suggest you to learn first git command, and then you can uh, use GUI tools. Even VS Code has their own uh, GitHub 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 you can use it as well. Uh, thank you. Uh, I have one more question. Uh, uh, okay, ask. How to get involved with those GitHub courses? I saw you are a campus expert. So how to how can we get involved with those courses? You mean uh, GitHub campus expert? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's like a, uh, so it's a community. So first you can let me show you. Uh, uh, 
uh, go to GitHub Education, and and here there's a, a link link for GitHub Campus Expert. Click here, and you can apply for it. Uh, then they will select you. Uh, after that, uh, you can follow their course, and you have to go through a uh, sort of assignments and once everything is done you can become a github campus expert yeah are there any uh, selecting criteria for this uh, the uh, main requirement is you need to be a, a student that means you need to have a, a university email oh. and uh that is a you can get higher chance uh you have done any community work mm. so are there any questions Uh, I think others don't have any questions. Yeah. So let's wrap up the session. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, so it it was a nice uh, educational session. So uh, thank you, Chamut. Uh, for sharing your knowledge and uh, your valuable time with us and uh, also guys i uh, shared a feedback form with you and uh, you can fill that uh, feedback form and uh, you can uh, get a certificate from us uh, so we provide a certificate for a person who fill that uh, uh, feedback form and uh, also, we will uh, share this uh, uh, educational session recording uh, in uh, YouTube. And uh, so thank you everyone for being with us and uh, let's meet it uh, uh, another educational session. Okay, thank you. Thank you everyone. Okay, especially thank you. Chavo. And uh, thank you, Ramindu, and thank you, Nimesh, for inviting me. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you, John. See you around then. Have a nice day. Okay, have a nice day.